In my last LED bulb video, somebody mentioned in the comment section that I should take an AM and FM radio and see if I can see how much RF noise these LED bulbs and I even do a CFL bulb. See how much noise they put off. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. I normally don't do that, but I'll just make a, a video here and uh, check a few of these bulbs here. And uh, I use an AM and FM radio. I will say that I did test the FM band. And because uh, frequency modulation is a little less prone to RF noise, plus the fact that the band is so high in frequency, I really couldn't detect any problem using these, uh, any of these LED bulbs. However, the much lower frequency of the AM band and you know the nature of the switch mode supplies tends to release a lot of uh, harmonic rich noise that you, you can uh, pick it up pretty much across the AM band. So that'll be good for this test here. Now I will say that it's not really fair to put the radio right up to the bulb because even a little calculator will make interference in this LED flashlight. So you have to you have to test it at a few feet, say like uh, three feet or about a meter. So that's what I'll do. Now, I'm not going to bore you going through every single bulb. What I'll do is I'll test all the bulbs and pick the ones that are the most noisy and the quietest ones, and the other ones will just fall in between. Okay. Uh, let me run through the bulbs here so you know exactly what I'm testing. This is the Polaroid BR30 800 lumen. Fairly new on the market at the time this video was made. These two are Fight Electric brand. This is an 800 lumen. This is a 500 lumen. This is the original Cree bulb. They have updated the design. So, you know, like I say, this is the very first ones that came out. This is a 6 watt. This is the new on the market Osram. These, uh, this one is a 6 watt. 450 lumens, I believe. Yeah. This ping pong paddle shaped. I'm not sure if I should play ping pong or screw it in and use it as a light, but uh, this is the Philips. Uh, what is it? Six, seven watt, and 450 lumens. These two are. Utilitech brand. This is a pretty old model, came out a few years ago. First low cost LED bulb. This is a more modern version, still available in the stores. And this is just your typical CFL. I think this is a 9 watt one. Okay, first start off with the Polaroid. Let me turn the radio on. Yeah, up close you're going to get some noise, but you step back about three feet, well three feet is probably back here, three feet to a meter, and it, it's really not making any interference. Well, let me tune into a station. And when I tune into a station, the station kind of, you know, covers up that noise. And I could bring the uh, radio to within a, a foot before I started getting noise. So I don't really see an issue with that bulb. This is the most interesting bulb. It's very quiet. Yeah, I'm not getting anything putting the radio right up to it. Detail. Hmm. 
that's very interesting. I think this is a dimmable bulb, so it should have a normal ballast. Can't remember if it is. Suitable for enclosed, suitable for damp luminaries. I don't see anything about dimming though. But that bulb is, you know, there's no interference at all. Now the Cree bulb, on the other hand, let me turn the radio back on. Well, it was fairly noisy up close, but three feet away, no issue at all. This is the Phillips bulb, one that looks like a ping pong paddle. I'd say that this is probably the most noisy bulb at all. third baseline over his head Willie Mays style lays out something but even it is not a big deal when you tune into a station now I did notice I can pick it up at certain places on the dial when I step back but still I don't really see this thing being a, a big issue and let's take a look at the CFL. Well, the CFL is the noisiest bulb of them all, so the LEDs are better in that regard. But still, when you turn tune into a station, it's not a big issue at all. Well, that wraps it up. I don't think any of these are a big deal. Some are a little bit noisier than the others. And this one was really amazingly quiet, but still, you're not going to have a problem with these bulbs. And like I said, I only, I didn't go through every one, but the ones that I didn't check were kind of in between as far as noise goes. They weren't as bad as some of the other ones were, or as good as this one, of course. But that's it. Thanks for watching.